What do you think of my latest find? It's a neon analog original. And it has been spray painted and then the silk screen on top. It is fabulous. I will be posting the link to neon analog on Etsy. She's fabulous. Um, I wanted to talk about... First of all, I want to thank all my subscribers on YouTube. Um, 2,400 and going up, going twice, sold to the highest bidder. Um, my channel is all about fashion. I'm a fashion designer. I, um, but I also love fashion. I collect fashion. I talk about fashion. I create fashion. So I want to talk about my favorite subject, fashion. Um, these books I got at the library and um, it's fun to go to the library because um, you can find books on fashion that you don't normally buy or you can get. Um, as you can see, this is my fabulous collection of books on fashion. I have um, Rudy Gernrich, Halston, Galliano, Chanel, Elsa Schiaparelli. Oh, look, what is this? I found a ring. I guess somebody was here and they lost and forgot a ring. Whoever you are, I found your ring. It's not marked. Anyways, I found a ring in my library of fashion. Um, but I want to show you some really amazing books that I got today at the library. This is fash Talking Fashion with Metavog. Um, and so, American Dior. This is a fabulous book. I got at the library. Um, and it's, um, asks the average American woman what name she thinks of when she thinks of high fashion. And she will probably say, Kristen Dior. Kristen Dior me from my head to my toes. Um, my other favorite designer is Pierre Cardin. Pierre Cardin, um, 50 years of fashion and design. It, he's one of my favorite fashion designers of all time. Um, amazing pop artist. He is definitely an inventor of high fashion. And you know what? Lady Gaga, fashion, the shoulder pads, all that shit. You know who invented it? Yes. There it is, folks. Pierre Cardin, 1970s, early 80s, couture. This is fashion. Another amazing, fabulous fashion designer, Balenciaga. Balenciaga, Cristobal Balenciaga, um, is one of the most amazing fashion couturiers of the 20th century millennium, he created many balloon gowns. He was fabulous. You have to check out Balenciaga if you want to learn more about fashion. Um, one of my other favorite designers, um, and I actually own many, many, many Oscar de la Rentas, especially from his first boutique opening in 1970, in the 1960s, in the late 60s, when um, Oscar de la Renta opened his first boutique in 1968, believe it or not. I own many, many Oscar de la Rentas from the 60s and the 70s. And, um, and those are other videos I want to make, but this is Oscar at his finest. Anna Winter, Oscar completely understands who he is and who is he dressing. He's never tried to be avant-garde. He, he just does really good uptown clothes, never overly sexy but attractive colorful and feminine Anna Winter how boring um, and of course who doesn't love Christian Lacroix Christian Lacroix sweetie Lacroix Lacroix sweetie Lacroix um, Christian Lacroix amazing 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 he took over the house of Pucci at once fired run down listless and the last book um, that I want to share with you is a designer who was born the year that I was born in 1971 Actually, I'm older than him. He's an amazing designer Matthew Williamson. You have to check this book out Matthew Williamson Besides being an amazing designer He is very good-looking um, He is original He is fantastic You have to check out Matthew Williamson 
and um, you know I wish I could talk to you more but really I am very busy as you can see text messages text messages text messages let's see who it is who it is darlings today oh Angela Picard not feeling well you have her measurements okay Megan hey babe uh-huh hmm anyways darlings enough 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 so come back comment rate subscribe my YouTube myspace CNN I reports metavog Google metavog I don't even want to have a website anymore just Google me Google me forever <laughs> and until next time have a fantastic fabulous fashionable weekend ahead